In the Asian session, the US dollar gave in to major rivals amid weak economic data. ADP reported that the US companies added only 67,000 jobs in November. The service PMI index slipped to 53.9 from 54.7, ISM revealed. The US dollar index, which tracks the greenback's dynamics against the basket of six major currencies, lost 0.11%, dropping to the level of 97.54. However, the greenback was supported by the news about the trade negotiations. Reportedly, the United States and China are getting closer to agreeing on the amount of tariffs that would be rolled back in a phase one trade deal. The dollar yen pays reading mixed in the morning. It managed to inch up a little, but then it fell again below the level of 109. The pair failed to, to benefit from the intraday recovery and remained below the 200-day moving average. Besides, traders uh, prefer safe having assets after Donald Trump hinted that a trade deal with China may take place only after the US presidential election in 2020. At the same time, the day before, he said that negotiations with the Bajan are going very well. Those uh, remarks uh, revived a trade-related optimism. A little. The dollar yen pair remains near the level of 108.80. Analysts expect the chart to rise to 109.50 and then to 109.95. The Audi USD pay is consolidating at its high levels, having reached it during yesterday's trading session. However, the pair may lose steam due to weak statistics on retail sales and Australia's trade balance. The quarter is stuck in the sideways between 0.6840 and 68.50, awaiting new signals. Australia's retail sales sector was stagnant. The growth of retail volumes stopped at zero, while analysts expected a 0.3% increase. The release data uh, turned out to be weak as well as the data on Australia's GDP. Therefore, the RBA is highly likely to cut its key rate. We continue to keep close steps on market developments. Stay tuned with us.